right, so welcome to free beat making program dot bravesites dot com. Today I'm gonna work on making a quick tutorial how to use LMMS. We're gonna make a a quick beat, nothing spectacular, nothing great, just so that you know the the ins and outs and how to work with LMMS. All right, so I'm gonna show you the way that I do it, uh, the way that I learn, and the way that I practice. So here we go. To start off, I go into the song editor and I make it bigger. And then I delete all these extra VSTs that they have open here. To do that, I click on the little circle here and then I click remove. So you do that for each and every one of them. Then after that, we're going to open up uh, a VST or an instrument plugin. So you click on the top one and it'll open up the instrument plugin bar. And you click on synth add sub effects. So you left click it hold, you bring and you drop it. And it opens it up. So now we need to choose an instrument out of this VST. So to do that, you click on this area right here. It says synth add sub effects. It opens up the VST. You click on show GUI. And you click on instrument. You click on show instrument bank. Click on the arrow down. And this time I'm gonna choose synth piano. Like I said, we're not gonna make anything special. Choose soft piano and close. And there you go. And it's already there. Now, to uh, to make a melody, what you do is you double click on this uh, black and gray area right here, and it opens up the piano roll. And now you need to start putting notes wherever you want. Um, oops, a little loud. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to start making a melody. Alright, so now that we have the melody here, you can make this go either faster or slower um, at any speed that you want. To do that, you click here on tempo. So you uh, left click, hold, and start bringing it down. And now it's going slow. Click and hold, you bring it back up, and we go back up to 140. Whoops. And you back up to 140. Now, to make this uh, longer, what I do is I uh, copy and paste. So to do that, you click on this little square with uh, a dotted square. Uh, you uh, click it, then you press and hold the left mouse key, and you drag this little box over, and it'll copy everything. So now you click here, it says copy selected notes. So you click on that, and it'll copy this. Then you go here where it says paste selected notes, or note from clipboard and it just pasted them now you look at here and you're like where are they i don't know all right to make them come up what you do is you press and hold control and hit the up arrow and they're on the top now so what you do is you hold uh you hold it and you drag it over and you put it right next to it and then we're going to repeat the same thing again for all these notes All right, now you can make these notes shorter or longer um, just by when it turns into uh, two arrows like this, you could make the notes longer, you can make them shorter. Now I'm just doing one note. To do what, uh, all the notes, again, you click on this little uh, square dotted box, highlight everything. Now whatever you do to one, it'll do to all of them. And now they're shorter notes. Now let's hear this again. Nice corny little melody. All right, now that we have a melody, if you hit here on the uh, song editor, it'll play the melody for you again. And this is where you're gonna make your whole entire song. Now the problem is that it keeps going. So to make a loop, what you do is you click on this little bow tie, 
and it give you uh, the two bow tie, the beginning and the end. To move the ending one, you, you uh, right click it, whoops, and drag it over to the end. So now, when it gets to the end, it's just gonna loop right back around and it starts all over again. All right, now to make a, a drum loop. I make a drum loop, um, well, I'm gonna show you the way I make it and then I'm gonna show you a different way to do the same uh, thing that I'm doing right now. So you click here on my samples. Uh, we're just gonna choose whatever LMMS came with. So we're gonna choose uh, drums. And um, actually, let me choose drum sync. Let's choose this one right here, CR8000. And we're gonna pick the kick. Not a great kick, but again, we just, uh, this is for the purpose of demonstration only. So you uh, left click it, hold and drag and drop it in there. And then we're gonna grab a snare. Whoops. Um, the same thing with the snare. We're gonna uh, left click, hold and drag. Now, to make the uh, drum pattern, what I do is I go on the note A always, I don't know why, but that's what I do. And then I just put the first one there. So every one beat, it'll be uh, on the thick line right here. So you got one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, one, and it starts all over again. So we're gonna do that here. Just a simple one. And then the uh, snare will go on the third one. Again, nothing special, just so that you understand how to do this. Um, I like to do a little something to the kick, so it'll be like doom, doom, ch, doom, doom, ch, something like that. Um, I'm gonna make this one uh, like this. All right, so now. We're gonna listen to this again with the drums. Very simple, nothing special. So this is one way of doing it. Now the problem with this is if you wanna make this song longer, you can't just drag. It's It stays the same side. So for you to move it or make it longer, what you have to do is you have to hover over it hit control, hit the left arrow, and then drag it and put it right next to it. And do the same thing for the bottom one. So again, hit and hold control, left, sorry about that. So hit and hold control, left mouse button, drag it next to it and drop it. So now it's longer. So again, to move this bow tie, you right click, hold, and drag it to the end. So now it's longer. So it's three, four bars. So now it's going to be eight bars. So every um. So right now it's eight bars, and then it's just looping around. Okay. So this is one way of doing a beat, and then it's a little bit more tedious. I prefer it this way because I see the notes. I could change the notes right there. Um. I don't know, to me it's just easier. Now a different way to do this, the exact same thing, pretty much. Um, you open the beat and baseline editor. Uh, and we're gonna do same thing that we did before, which we're gonna erase or take out, remove the other instruments. Now we're gonna start from scratch again. So let's go back into instruments plugin, go into the synth as sub, carry it over. But this time, instead of the song editor, you're going to drop it in the bass and bassline editor. And let's do the same thing with the drums. Let's do that right now. We'll drop the snare. Remember to drop it. You uh, left click and hold, drag and drop. Very easy. Now, uh, here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it into eight uh, loop as well, or eight bars, I should say. So you uh, click on this icon to make it bigger. Right now it's one, two, three, four bars. So you plus one, now we have eight. 
Now to open the, the piano roll here, you click on top when it turns into a little hand, double click it, piano roll. So now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to make a little melody. Whoops, I forgot to change the uh, this to a piano. Uh, instruments. All right. So we go back in here. We're going to do everything that we did earlier. Um, but now the beauty of this is that we don't have to do this like we did in the first one in the four bars. I'm going to try to keep it there and see if my theory works. But anyways, in here with the kick, it's the same thing as we did in the other part, except now you're going to use the... Um, the beat and bass bass line editor. So you just click click on the block on each of the black ones. Um, I want to make it the same way I had it before. I think that's the way it was. The snare, I believe, it goes here. We'll listen to it. See if it comes out. Now the problem with this is because um, when I did it in the uh, on the um, on the song editor, um, I did it in double time. So that means that uh, I extended the the kicks. So the kicks should be instead of the way I just did it. So it should be like this. So this one here here let's listen to it now and I did that because it's in double time I have it on 140 so to to get that same kind of speed that I have there which is kind of slow um, you can do it like this as well. Um, and now you bring down the time or the tempo, I should say. So it should be about the same. But see, the problem with this is if you listen to the notes now, they sound slow, just like the drums. Do, 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 do. So it's slow instead of being uh, fast. That's why I like to keep my speed up and then just do my drums on double time. So I bring it back up to 140. I mean, you could do it any way you want. I'm just showing you my way, I guess, of doing it or two different ways of doing it. That's why I prefer to do it on the piano um, roll. Um, but that's again just me you don't have to do it that way now we are going to have to uh, take this and make it and, and copy and paste it like I, I didn't think I had to I thought it would cover because this right now I believe it's 8 bars let me see if I'm correct Yep. Okay, now you're saying, so what's the difference between this and the other one? I'll show you the difference right now. So right now, after you do it here, it automatically says beat baseline zero. So that would be this one right here. So when you click here, it'll open this thing up, which is this melody that's over here right now with the drum and everything. Um, it's always prefer preferable for you to separate the drums and your melody so you could, you know, change your drums to different drums and, and different areas. It's better that way. But um, for this demonstration purpose, I just wanted to show you um, how the difference between the way I make it and this way. Um, here, you just 
hold and drag boom now it's gonna be um, I think it's eight bars so it's gonna be a bar long so I took a two bar and I made it into a bar just by clicking and dragging that's simple so it's easier to do it this way but but um, again for me I prefer to see the notes up here and then I can make changes to the notes here very quickly as opposed to doing it over here and and dragging it which again it's easier for you to make the whole song over here because it's just a click and drag but you know I guess it's a preference thing so um, that's the video for today um, I hope you learned something new out of this I'll be making another video soon um, I'm making uh, a beat uh, with different VSTs that don't come stock with LMMS um, and then I'm eventually showing you how to uh, download those VSTs and put them into your uh, LMMS and download different uh, wave samples and uh, other kind of samples for you to download and put them into LMMS so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please put like on the, uh, please put like on the YouTube or make a comment good or bad it doesn't matter um, and again uh, you could